Lightning intro! Whoa! What is up, everybody? Oh! What is up everybody? Hope you're having a great day. I just got a chance to see Thor Ragnarok and my god do we need to talk about this. No spoilers on this video, absolutely no spoilers. If you do want to see a spoiler filled video, leave a comment down below, let me know. Disclaimer over, let's talk about the movie. The story picks up around the same time as Civil War is going on. Thor has been looking for these Infinity Stones on kind of a quest. Hela comes to Asgard to take over, kick ass, you know, take over the entire city. And Thor is then kidnapped over to this other planet where he's forced to be a gladiator and fight against the Hulk and then the rest of the story is just Thor and Hulk and a few other teammates getting back to Asgard and taking down Hela to stop Ragnarok from happening and to finally take the throne as king of Asgard. This is the third installment in the Thor franchise and is directed by Taika Waititi who's done other really good films like Hunt for the Wilder People, What We Do in the Shadows, a really fun and quirky director that's got a lot of charm to his movies and brings something to this movie that the Thor franchise definitely needed, that quirky humor, the charm, the wit. He was able to plug that formula into Marvel Marvel's formula, Thor Ragnarok lives up to the trailers, it lives up to all the anticipation that you've been expecting for a Thor Ragnarok movie, and that is mainly due to the direction by Taika Waititi and Chris Hemsworth as Thor. Now what I always hated about the previous Thor installments is that he just, he took himself so seriously. Kevin Feige and Taika Waititi said they wanted to do something very different with this Thor, that they wanted to strip him of everything and just look at the bare bones of what Thor as a character is, and that's what they were able to bring out to this. Now with superhero movies nowadays, what's making them so good is that they're adding one subgenre into the superhero genre. With Logan, you have it being a western. With The Dark Knight, it's more of a crime film that also is a superhero movie. This is a comedy through and through, and the comedy hits hard, and it usually pays off. Chris Hemsworth as an actor has really good comedic timing, and I'm so glad that they were able to have him utilize that talent in this movie. There's also this big rock armor thing that's voiced by Taika Waititi, the director. He also has a lot of good comedic moments in the movie. You've got Tom Hiddleston returning is Loki, who again kills it as Loki, always is playing the trickster, still a very charismatic character, one that you always want to watch when he's on screen, as well as some new characters. We have our new villain played by Kate Blanchett, who is Hela, the goddess of death, and she is a badass villain. I really loved her character, and I loved what Kate Blanchett was able to bring with how well her acting is. She could just emote with like her eyebrows, just not do anything else with her face, just move her eyebrows, and would still possibly get a best actress performance in the Oscars, as well as Tessa Thompson, who played Valkyrie in this movie. I loved watching her character, and her interactions with Thor and with Hulk are just really well done. One of my favorite characters, in fact, probably the standout performance for me. And speaking of standouts, we also do have to talk about, of course, the Hulk, Bruce Banner. Oh, he's so good! Hulk doesn't want to turn back to Bruce Banner in this movie. For the better part of the first and second act, after the events of Age of Ultron, he found himself on this planet where he's just gladiator that everybody loves and everybody is cheering for, and he loves it too. They're able to make a few tweaks to Hulk's character. He kind of has like like a toddler mindset, so you get to play around with that character a little bit more. He gets to have more dialogue as the Hulk, which makes you care about the Hulk a little bit more. Jeff Goldblum, I mean, come on, Jeff Goldblum is in the movie? I've seen some reviews where they're saying that Jeff Goldblum takes away from the movie. I'm sorry, but this movie, if it was made for anyone other than Thor, it's made for Jeff Goldblum. A great performance, and I really liked his character. The comedic moments worked really well. Aside from some moments, it's not to the point where it just isn't funny. It just doesn't hit as much as you would expect. If there are any complaints, I have, they're mostly on the technical side. When you're looking at the VFX on some of these moments, it just doesn't look very good. Hulk looks fantastic, don't get me wrong, he looks great through the entire thing. However, there's some moments that are shown in the trailer that they just completely change the location on. And when you see it in the movie and you can tell that it's been green screened, it really pops as being a green screen rather than just blending in. This is a fast paced movie as well, I think it's actually the shortest Marvel film that's been created. And I wish just for in a couple moments in this movie that they, they took time to pause and really explore a couple moments with their characters. Some of the moments did seem a little bit rushed. If I were to rank this among the Marvel movies that have come out this year, I would say this is neck and neck with what Spider-Man Homecoming was to me. I do think it beat out Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 as far as its humor goes and just the story overall. It's a much more enjoyable movie. Overall, I had so much fun watching Thor Ragnarok. It's exciting, it's hilarious, it's got a quirky humor to it. It has a great tone due to the director Taika Waititi. The comedy's great, the action is great. This this is the best Thor movie, hands down, that we have. This this is by far the best one. In fact, you can't even really compare this to the other two. It's almost like the start of its own trilogy. I'm gonna give Thor Ragnarok an 8.5 out of 10. 
So guys, tell me what you thought about Thor Ragnarok. Whatever you thought, leave a comment down below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and check out more videos like this. Share it with a friend that loves movies. Thank you again as always for watching, and I will see you at the next review.